this is the tutorial for Pachelbel and Herlock's reel, the violin one part. It starts off nice and easy, first finger on the E string, we're going to be quiet and slow soft minims. So there's no problems with that section. Let's move down to the crotchets. We're a little bit quieter here and we've got slurs as well to keep it legato. Try and get the slurs in if you can, but don't worry too much if it's causing you a problem. We're just going to run from two bars before it to get the change of speed. Not too many problems there and um, the high notes are up on the E string going from a first finger to a third finger that's probably the only corner that will catch you out a um, bit of string crossing here as well let's move on to the quaver section so now we're up to mezzo forte and the first thing we're going to come across is a stretched third finger on the G string for a C sharp so that's going to sound like this I'll take it from the beginning of the bar now you have a few ways of doing that. You can either play a C sharp crossing to an open A, but you're having to cross over two strings. You could do a third finger going to a fourth finger on the D string, which means you only have to cross one string, but not everybody likes the fourth finger. The other alternative is separate bows using the open A. So we're going to run through that quaver section. Let's just take it from two bars before so we get the transition into the faster speed. So starting on the B, I'll go a little bit slower. Three, four. stop at that bar just to point out that we need a G natural. Here it is, G natural, second finger close to first finger. We're go going to go from straight on that G natural. Three and four and say probably the only bit to work on is going from an open D to a second on the G string and then right up to an octave higher a B on the A string. So only three corners really, the C sharp, stretch third finger, G natural and doing the low note jumping to a higher note. Now we move into the best bit. This is Herlock's reel and semi quavers. So I'm going to go straight on the forte section here and just play one line. You might have noticed I've put in some slurs. It's much easier once you've done the quaver to slur the two quavers, it gives you a down bow for the next group of semi quavers. So that's here and here and at the end of the line. I mistakenly put one there, ignore that. So let's now practice going from the two quavers at the end of the line into the forte section. So I'm starting on the D. One, two, three. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, once you've got that, you can then try going from the slower quavers into the semi-quavers. Let's practice it from here. We'll take it at a slightly slower speed so you can get the transition. Three, four. <laughs> suggest you pause the video go back and do that three or four times. Now let's try the same thing at a faster speed. Three, four. the next line just to show you that the next line is almost identical except we're ending on two D's instead of first fingers. Now looking at this third line it's exactly the same as this one and moving on to the next page it's another repetition ending on the D's. A change at the end because it's taking us on to the next line. Before we move on to this new section what I think I'll do is just run through an easy way to help you with the rhythms. What a lot of people tend to do when we've got fast semi-quavers is they ignore the quavers and just play the whole thing as a fast run. So let's just point out where these quavers come in. The easiest way to remember it is Coca-Cola when it's four semi-quavers and then cream soda when you've got the slower one. So let's run right the way through that line just talking through the drinks rhythms. Coca-Cola, cream, soda, Coca-Cola, cream, soda, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, coffee, cream, soda. We'll run through it again. Coca-Cola, cream, soda, Coca-Cola, cream, soda, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, coffee, cream, soda. Same for the next two lines. So practice that really hard. And the top line on the next page as well. And that leads us into the second half of Herlock's Reel. We're going to go straight on the new melody starting on a B. Now I've written in some of the notes. A first finger for B down to a second for F sharp. A third finger on the high D and a second finger on F sharp. Because there's a lot of jumping in this bit. I'll just play it to you first. <laughs> first bar that's got a new tune you'll recognize that from the earlier part. I'll go through a little bit slower and you can join in. One and two and three and four. Next line almost identical but we end on a D. notes take us into the next line which is another repetition but ending on a first finger. And finally the last line is the same as in the previous half of Herlock's reel. I'll take it from the up bow slur. long minimum to finish with make sure you count that minimum um, and end at the same time as everyone else on their videos as well. Good luck it's gonna sound great hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 